So in today's lesson, we're talking about the club face and we're gonna show you how you need to control that club face during the goal swing to give you a lot more control over your golf ball. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden. We're on the par five 17th hole, talking about club face control and giving you a little bit more awareness in a drill to help you control the club face, which is really essential to having control over your golf ball. So in today's video, you're going to learn about how the club face changes its location or orientation through the golf swing. You're going to learn what influences where the club face points. And then finally, we're gonna give you a drill which is gonna help you appreciate and understand how you can control your club face better. Just before we get started, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love you to be part of it. It is free. There's a link in the description box down below or a clickable link at the end of the video. So the club face, we have to control it. The best golfers control it, the worst golfers struggle. So let's first of all attach this little device to my golf club. I've got a six iron here. And this little device is just gonna sit right on the club face and it's just going to show me where that golf club is pointing. So if I took a setup here to this golf ball, you can see how my club face pretty much points down the middle of the fairway. Now, as soon as I start my golf swing, have a look at where the club face points. At this point here, it's nowhere near the middle of the fairway. It's nowhere near the middle of the fairway. Nowhere near the middle of the fairway. Hopefully back towards the middle of the fairway. And then again, nowhere near the middle, nowhere near the middle, nowhere near the middle. So through my golf swing, that club face points pretty much everywhere. And there's only one point where it points where I need it to. And that's obviously impact, and that's the most important part of the golf swing. So let's have a look at what influences where the club points. If I just let the club sit on the ground, there's three things that I can do to influence where that club points. I can twist the club shaft. As I twist the club shaft, you can see how that club points to the left and to the right. I can also raise and lower the handle. So if I raise the handle, the golf club points more out to the right, and if I lower the handle, the golf club points more to the left. I can also move the handle forwards and back. So as I move the handle forwards, the golf club points out to the right, and as I move the golf handle backwards, the club points to the left. So we're already starting to see here why it's so difficult to hit straight golf shots because the golf club very rarely points at the target, and there's three things that will influence where the club points. So let's say I'm a golfer who unintentionally has some twist of the golf club to the right, which is pretty common. That will make the golf club point out to the right. Let's say they raise the handle at impact. That would point the golf club out to the right. There's a very good chance that those golf balls are gonna go way right of target. So we have to learn how to control the club face in the golf swing. Now let's jump straight to impact. When we look at impact from the face on view, what do we generally see from the better golfers? Well, we often see that the handle and impact is significantly forward at impact versus where it was at setup. Now that's pretty important because that allows them to generally make a descending blow, de decrease the loft on the golf club, launch the ball at a correct angle, compress the ball, and get that strike that we're kind of all after. If you've got the handle back, you're gonna to struggle to do those things. But what we've just said is that when I push the handle forwards, that tends to open the club face and make it point to the right, as you can see in that demonstration. So when I have the handle forwards, I have to make sure that I have a little bit of twist in the golf club to orientate the face back towards where I want the ball to go. And I also have to make sure I don't have the handle way too high or way too low. It's difficult, it's not easy. So here's what we're gonna do and here's our drill that's gonna help us fix that. So you'll notice I've got an alignment stick in the ground uh, and I've got this leaning forward of the golf ball by by certain amount. Now it doesn't have to be exact, but we want that leaning forward by maybe 10 degrees or so. And that's really to help us feel like we deliver the golf club and we have a little bit of forward lean of the golf club. So we're trying to match my golf club to the alignment stick that's in the ground. And I've also got this still on the club face. Obviously you're not going to have this device, but you could use something like a T-peg or, or something along those lines. Um, and this little device, uh, we can actually extend it so it's a little bit more visual. And very simply, what we're going to get you to do is take a setup to a golf ball or just inside a golf ball and practice from the top of your golf swing, delivering the golf club to impact with the shaft leaning forwards and the arrow pointing straight down the middle. Now, what many of you will find is that in order for you to achieve that, you have to apply this twist to the golf club. This twist is what's going to close the face. When we have the handle forwards, that's what's opening the face. And the two have to work together 
in order for you to control the club face. For many of you who have tried to get the handle forward in the past and struggled, it's very often because when the handle goes forwards, the face goes open and you just start to hit worse shots. So we have to appreciate that for me to deliver the club, pointing where I want the ball to go, the handle needs to be forward to guarantee my strike, and the twist has to be applied to reorientate the face back towards the target. So you can see here that I've got forward lean of the golf club and the arrow or the pointer on that golf club is still pointing down the fairway. This is a fantastic awareness drill. And this would be something that we would call a bit of self-discovery because we're not really telling you how to change that club face. We've obviously kind of discussed what will change it, but it's more a case of saying, well, how do we get from point A to point B? And we want you to self-discover what you need to do in order to achieve that. And it's gonna be different for everybody. Some of you will feel that you have to lean the handle more forward. Some of you will feel you have to twist the face more. Some of you who hook the ball may feel that you twist the face less. It's really about you discovering your own feels and how you need to figure out your goal sing. But ultimately, we all need to do the same thing. We all need to control this and get it pointing at impact exactly where we want it to be, which is very often towards the target, depending a little bit on your individual paths. Once we've done a few of those, we can go ahead and hit a shot. So I've just got a six iron here, which uh, wouldn't be the ideal club of this par five, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna hit it. And that ball flight would tell me that I managed to have the handle forward because I took a divot after the ball and the ball flew pretty straight, which tells me that I controlled the club face. And ultimately that's the skill of golf. It's being able to strike the ball well, control the club face and control the direction of the curve on the golf ball. Once you can do those things, it's just then a case of making sure you hit the ball far enough that you can reach the holes. Um, obviously that wouldn't be a great example because that's left me probably 400 yards left into a par five. So uh, not the best club choice in this hole, but controlling the club face is something we all have to do. A little device such as that, or a tee peg on the club face, or anything like that to give you a bit of awareness is a great way for you to help control your club face. And ultimately, that's just gonna to lead to more consistent shots on the golf course, less lost golf balls, which is always a bonus, and lower scores, I'm sure. Right, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments box if you like that drill, if it's something new, and also if you'd like me to film any videos going forward, some topics or some suggestions from yourself, would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again soon.